You've been thinking about it, you've been reading about it, and now you decided to get a very intergastric balloon. The first step is that you will make an appointment and you will see Dr. Bartage. You can see Dr. Bartage virtually or in person. It is really up to you. There will be pre-procedure appointment in order to get you ready for the procedure. And if you live out of state, you're able to go through all the tests where you live. We will give you detailed instructions. We will tell you where to get and where to go so you do not have to worry about that. If you live in New York or Miami, we will see you in person and we will do all the pre-procedure testing for you. Once you are cleared for Vera Balloon, we will give you instructions on how to prepare for the procedure. Good news, you only have 24 hours of liquid diet before the procedure. It might sound difficult, but it will not be. And we will be there for you to help you out. You can always call us. Remember, we do require that you come with a chaperone on the day of the procedure. It is non-negotiable and it is very important because it is done for your safety. On the day of procedure, you will be meeting your anesthesiologist and he or she will go over all the details about your anesthesia. Once you're ready, you will go to the procedure room where you will meet Dr. Batash once again and he will go over details one more time. This is a perfect time to ask all the questions that you might have that you did not get answered to or any details that you might be anxious about. news you will not feel anything during the procedure you will wake up with balloon inside your stomach and now you're ready to begin your weight loss journey there are diet requirements after balloon placement it is very important that you follow these instructions there is only one week of liquid diet it might sound difficult but it is not and we are here to help you out many people say it is much easier than they actually thought it would be. Second week, we go into puree food, baby food consistency. We advise that the easiest thing to do is to just go buy baby food and eat that. Usually it is uh, stage two Gerber or any other brand that you might like. Week three, you're ready to transition to regular food. We do suggest that you start with the softer foods and slowly progress to foods that are harder to digest but it is really up to you. If you do eat something that causes you discomfort, our suggestion, don't eat it anymore. If it causes you pain, do not eat. If certain food bothers you, do not eat that food. But you will have a coach that will guide you through all this and you will not have to guess what to eat. We will be there for you, telling you what you need to do.